Hello everyone, my name is Bhagira Chaudhary and I work for South Asia Biotechnology Center at Jodhpur. Uh, today we are at Gindra village in Rania Tehsil of Sirsa district Haryana and uh, uh, we have laid out North India's most advanced and high-tech cotton demonstration in Kharib 24-25. This high-tech demonstration form is laid out under the project Bandhan, supported by PI Foundation, and under the technical guidance of Central Institute for Cotton Research. We also work closely with Gen Irrigation and Yara Fertilizer. The idea of this high-tech demonstration farm in Northern India is to revive the cotton production in Northern India. We are also looking at bringing back, back farmers' confidence uh, because farmers are moving away from cotton to paddy cultivation, which is actually a futile exercise to the whole diversification from paddy to um, other uh, low water consuming crops. And we also want to re-establish this whole value chain. There is a disconnect between cotton production and the whole textile industry in northern part of the country. This high demonstration plot, as you can see, we laid, laid out on 14th of May 2024. Um, we are demonstrating one of the most advanced innovative solutions uh, to revive the cotton production in northern part of the country. Here in this plot, we have actually divided two acre plot into four uh, different plots uh, where we are doing flat bed showing with drip irrigation. Then we are doing raised bed showing with drip irrigation. We are doing raised bed straw mulching. You know that rice straw is one of the biggest pollutant um, in northern part of the country. So what we are trying to do through this demonstration is to see that whether rice straw can be used to improve soil fertility while ensuring that um, less number of farmer actually burn or no farmer burn rice straw in the season. And finally, we are using this whole poly mulch um, with the drip fatig fatigations technology. And I'm going to take you to these plots. But very interesting component of this whole integrated uh, demonstration is that not only we are using uh, most advanced hybrid with Volga 2 technology, but also we are using integrated pest and disease management. Um, many of the people would know that Northern India is suffering because of this heavy infestation of pink bollworm. We have a problem with white fly sucking pests like thrips and white flies. And we are also facing huge problem with new diseases like root rot or ball rot. So we put together this whole demonstrations to showcase innovative technologies and also trying to see that those challenges related to the whole production system because of changing pest and disease dynam dynamics. We want to see that how farmer, while ensuring that the uh, cost of production is very low, but ensure that the high production productivity per unit area can be achieved. I'll take you to the farm now. Please come Deepak. As you can see, um, this particular crop. So this is a first plot. In this plot, we are using flatbed, flatbed with um, drip irrigation. Uh, very interestingly, uh, this particular drip irrigation technology, not only using, we are using to conserve water, but also we are deploying the most innovative Yara Rega uh, fertilizers, which are water soluble fertilizers. So through this particular drip, drip systems, we are ensuring that the plant um, gets adequate amount of fertilizer. So again, you know, here, very important attempt that we are making to reduce the use of nitrogen, nitrogenous fertilizers, ensuring that low leaching takes place because of use of drippers. And we are also ensuring that uh, less denitrification take place. So all issues related to, um, you know, this uh, plant not being able to uh, utilize uh, proper nitrogen uh, is can be taken care of by this particular technology. Here we are using mating disruption PB node technology in this plot and you can see this whole plant looks very firm, very firm. You can see that there is a um, robust growth and also you can see here sequential fruiting, fruit bearing. We also seen very low or nil uh, flower drop in this whole season. Um, this plant bears more number of fruits 
at this point of time this is just a 60 days plant at this point of time it actually bears more number of fruits than any other plots that i've seen in last uh, one week that i'm tra traveling extensively in whole of northern india so this is actually a first um, you know a flatbed uh, uh, dripper technologies with water soluble fertilizer we are using in addition to uh, mating disruption we are also ensuring that we promote use of pheromone trap technology so that you can uh, basically help farmers to identify pests at very early stage of infestation these are basically cctv camera in the field this let farmer knows that the pest has entered into their field and they can take ad adequate measures so this particular uh, technology monitoring system we are using to see that pink bollworm infestation can be detected at very early stage in addition to this you know that northern india is all, cotton is also affected with white fly and thrips so we are using uh, yellow sticky traps yellow sticky trap actually also meant to do monitoring work so that the farmer can take measures and reduce the white fly population in this plot, plot you can see very low number of white fly infestation um, and it looks fantastic friends this is the uh, second plot and you can see i'm just walking between these two uh, raised bed um, uh, system here um, as you can see that the difference between the first cropping system and second is that here we have planted cotton on the raised bed the whole idea is again to use the same technology drift fertigation but on the raised bed we can see a significant difference in the uh, plant stand here uh, we can also see that um, uh, you, you know the plant bears much more number of fruits uh, and low uh, fruit uh, the flower dropping uh, it's it's it is a alternate for the farmers to see that if they want to move to the next stage of technology then they can move from flat bed to the raised bed one we are using all integrated pest management systems that we use in flat bed here on the raised bed system as well um, so friends you know here is the third uh, cropping systems that we are using in this cropping system we are using exactly same flat bed uh, with the drip fertigation but more interestingly you know we are using rice straw as you can see this rice straw is being used as a natural mulch and as we know that rice is being burned and here what we are trying to do is that haryana punjab northern rajasthan setting where lots of paddy is being grown we would like to demonstrate farmers that paddy can be used as a very efficient straw for uh, mulching purposes here so that you know you can conserve water um, less use of water less evaporation and you can actually then motivate or mobilize farmers to use this rice straw for cro crop production so that you know the whole burning and air pollution problems that we face day to day issue so exactly same fruit looks good here in rice straw what we've seen noted is that um, the plant stand looks pretty good um, but the plant growth is not as robust as we have seen in other plots but the bearing of fruits is much higher than the other so we expect at the end of the season that even with rice straw or raised bed this plant will give a very good yield to the farming community friends um, this is the last and final fourth um, cropping system that we are using um, as you can see that we are use, using here also raised bed but with raised bed we are using poly uh, culture poly mulching here uh, poly mulching uh, among these three um, four demonstrate four different practices that we use this actually is the most efficient uh, methods of um, uh, you know using of water very efficiently we have seen we have seen that uh, you know among these four poly mulch with drip irrigation and fertigation uh, can give the best result out of the most innovative technologies that we are demonstrating here as you can see as we walk the these poly mulch not only reduces the weed infestation uh, so that you can reduce the cost of weeding um, poly mulch will not cost much of the money per acre unit area and we are expecting that with poly mulch you can actually increase uh, the cotton uh, production uh, at least by three uh, two to three quintal per acre that's our expectation plant looks very very beautiful as you can see uh, deepak can you just show the whole yeah this is how the plant looks like um i believe i believe uh, while working in um, cotton across india i believe that the poly mulch with drip fertigation technologies are the future of cotton 
cultivation in northern part of the country. I would like to call upon Government of India, State Government, um, Indian Council of Agriculture Research. I want to invite all the input industry, whether they are into seed, pesticide, biostimulant, fertilizers, um, to come and visit these projects that we have here. Uh, I want State Secretaries of Agriculture, Agriculture Commissioner of the States. Um, I want Deputy Directors, uh, Joint Directors, Additional Directors. And I want to make a call to everyone in Ministry of Agriculture, Textile, um, Industry also from Ludhiana. I want to really invite them. Please come here. Um, see the future of cotton in Northern India. We are at the moment when cotton is at the lowest uh, in terms of area in Northern part of the country. It is not sustainable, sustainable for our textile industry. Uh, therefore, I want to make a call to everyone, stakeholders, that please come here and see yourself that how innovative solutions and technologies uh, can be demonstrated. This is seeing is believing. Uh, if you see, you know how cotton can be revived. Uh, I hope that in future I would see the farmer of Punjab, Haryana and Northern Rajasthan uh, move away from surface irrigation uh, to this very high uh, tech uh, production technologies and um, uh, you know ensure that uh, India remain competitive in cotton production in the world. I want to thank uh, PI Foundation, CICR. I want to thank all my team, Deepak Jakkard, Bhuta Singh Ji and everyone who are involved. Um, this is the finest technology demonstrations that you can see in cotton. Uh, thank you so much.